Hey all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south, or specifically Fort Myers, Florida. And even more specifically than that, I'm in front of the Shell Factory, and I know what you're saying. Only God can make a shell. But, as true as that may be, this right here is a remarkable roadside attraction. It is a gift shop, but it is, it is more than just a simple gift shop. It is almost the ultimate gift shop here in Florida, full of bizarre and wonderful things. We're gonna take a look inside. Follow me. Well, hey there, Santa. I wasn't expecting to find you here. It's a whole section dedicated to Christmas. Look at all these Christmas trees. Here's a trend that never caught on, but is still on display here, the upside down Christmas tree. The argument being that it gives so much more room at the bottom for presents. It is more efficient, but it is, it, it is weird. Well, that's quite a dapper Santa right there. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, and from the Christmas section, we move on to the animal section. Look at what's going on in here. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring some right here. Good tidings to you wherever. There's a giant elephant head right there, right below the drop ceiling. Oh, these guys right here, fighting to the death. That mean old baboon. This Impala has been impaled by this spotted cat-like monster. Oh, he's gotta love this jumping tiger pose. Wah! Oh, poor old baboon there. It's been tackled. Just look at that row of heads there on the back wall. We got a whole family of lions here. A pride, if you will. Well, there's an extra male, but it's all good. They're just sitting on my weird alpaca chair. John Wayne, what do you think of all this taxidermy? Yeah, look at all these vicious animals. It's not so vicious, flat alligator. A flatigator, if you will. These young folks uh, are piling into a hurricane simulator. This looks like a recipe for disaster. That's really, really quite uneventful, actually. Got this amazing decked out golf cart. It's completely covered in all sorts of shells, which is cool, but I prefer to travel by zebra pulled wagon. There's an electric chair, you just pay two dollars and you get electrocuted. Sounds fun, kids. Wait a minute. Could it be? 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 <gasps> Happy! Early to mid 1800s. White settlers, including the Hendrys and Summerlin families, moved their herds down through central Florida, which was primarily grazed land in those days, to the Caloosahatchee River, and then down the Cracker Trail, <laughs> a cattle trail running from Fort Pierce to Punta Rosa, where they were shipped to Cuba, which had lost a lot of cattle That's in really, the revolution. It's really educational, men, Pappy. Known as crackers because of the distinct sound of their 12 foot it's really, it's really some good information on the history of Florida. I'm not sure why you're giving it on the toilet. Alright, it was good seeing you, Pappy. Oh, this should be good. The Pirate's Den. Look at that spooky pirate. Ooh, there's a spooky skeleton. This right here, and these buttons. <gasps> the 
legend tells, and experience has proven, that many a ghostly presence has been felt right here in these very walls. The friendly ghost of the herb house made his presence first known years and years ago. You see, a guest once told his server, who was bringing him some famous slice lifted off the plate, traveled across the Here's the funny thing. In Savannah, Georgia, at the Pirate's House, they used to have that animatronic right there. And how do I know it's the same one and not just one that's similar? It's because the stories he tells are actually about the Pirate's House in Savannah. Look at this. We have a tiny little uh, JFK assassination museum. You never know what you're going to find at the uh, shell factory. Now, I won't read that whole plaque to you, but basically what it amounts to is someone found this chair and thought that it probably maybe could have been in the White House when Lincoln wasn't there. Soltar, what happened to Pappy? He was just rambling on and on about Florida history. Oh wow, look at this leopard ambush. These leopards jumping, jumping on these warthogs. They're piling out of this leopard cave right here. And then there's a, there's a goofy pirate skeleton for no reason. Well, here's a snowy taxidermy scene with a elk. And then we got some, some bears over here eating trout, or a salmon rather, that's a salmon, he's eating a salmon. Oh, and then this bear, he was so vicious uh, when he attacked his salmon that he, he cracked it in half, cracked it clean in half. Merry Christmas from that tiger. What I really want to know is why is there an ostrich hanging from a shark cage in the ceiling? This is probably why it's called the shell factory. They, they sell a bunch of shells. Mmm, scallops. The taxidermy really just never ends. Oh boy, there's a whole section of gator things. What do they have? They have lots and lots of gator heads come in all different shapes and sizes. We've got some, some gator snow globes. This one is, is very odd. Uh, yeah, it's got a gator with a snow globe in its mouth with a smaller gator within that snow globe. Confusing. Look at that, split a gator's head in half. You got yourself some bookends. Some gator keychains, some gator back scratchers, because nobody scratches a better back than a gator. Oh wow, they actually have a fossil museum as well. Shark head up there. Oh wow, some megalodon mouth. We'll check out the fossil museum. See if there's any cool fossils in here. Solid gold T Rex. There is a shark made out of shark's teeth. Interesting. Here's my favorite type of shells these little clam men. These guys are smoking cigars and playing poker. Look, these are little shell fishermen. Ooh, I like that. That's like a dinosaur made out of a shell. And there's a guy riding three turtles. Bobblehead turtles. Even. So good. Dino shell monster. The shell owl is always a classic. I believe that is a porcupine made out of shells. And then down here, is that maybe like a fish made of shells? Oh, shell? Yeah. Mom and Dad, I want to be a shell when I grow up. Believe it or not, they actually have an entire zoo in the back. Fortunately, it's closed right now. We can get a look at a few, uh, few birds, a couple birds. And look at this turtle. He likes eating lettuce. Seems like a random assortment of animals, kind of. There's this really cool tree, man. a handy dandy photo spot. Look at me, I'm the captain of an airboat. Here's another photo spot. It's, well, you can take your picture on a, on a wood pallet, that's kind of cool. There's a few little carny rides back here and for $3 you can hop on a trampoline for 10 minutes. 
We got this pond right here. We got some friendly turtles there in the middle, and seeing a couple turtles swimming around next to their friend, the giant carp. I'd hop right on this merry-go-round, except this area is surveilled by the No Fun Police. So thank you all for joining me here at the Shell Factory, the, the perfect gift shop, if you will. It has everything you'd imagine, a, a, a zoo in the back, random museums just popping up, random places, and tons and tons of taxidermy. Anyways, if you'd like, guys, would like to contribute, um, there's a t-shirt link down in the bottom uh, description. If you'd like to donate on Patreon, a donation of at least $3 will get you a postcard once a month. Also, if you'd like to see other places I've been, there's an interactive map down in the description. And for now, this one's in the bag.